to create a contract in the contract renewals module, we start from a, a sales order. Uh, so I'll, I'll quickly create a sales order. I'll drop drop a couple of things on here. Um, just pick a customer. Uh, 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 and then I can pick some items. When we add the lines onto the item, of course, what, what the module is attempting to do for us is uh, calculate the duration of the subscription. Um, and of course, that, that is going to be determined by the configuration of the line item. So in this instance, these, these item, or this item is a, a SaaS license of some description. So we're expecting uh, to recognize the revenue. And I, I'm not going to talk about revenue specifically, but recognize the revenue over time. And, and actually, the contract is, is we, we'll just set it up for a year. Um, we can also control how that line is built. So at the moment, the default configuration is saying this particular item is going to be for the year build 100% up front. But using the billing schedule, we can control, control that very finely. So we could say we're going to bill it monthly, we're going to bill it quarterly, or maybe what we'd like to do is put some non-linear custom schedule in place that bills it however we want, little bits or big bits. Um, so maybe little bits up front and big bits towards the end, or, or, or it doesn't really matter. Um, we, we could add um, some perpetual. I think I've got some perpetual licenses in here. So if we add a perpetual line, and maybe we wanted to add some um, uh, services as well. I've got some annual support. Okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't want any your support. Uh, I think we've got some consulting services in here, so maybe we just specify uh, some professional services as well. A bit confused why it wants a term from a PS, but hey ho, beauty of demo accounts. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save this. So when we save the sales order, the um, as it's saving, it's also creating a contract, which we'll be able to see in a moment. Um, as we can see here, we've got a contract that's been created for us, which is this one. At the moment, this is empty. All we have on here is the basics of the start and end, end date of the, pro of the contract. Um, there is a process which runs periodically, which I'm just going to quickly force to run now. And then once that's finished, we'll, we'll see the, um, uh, the contract items, which you would normally expect to see. So that's Finish. Oh, actually, sorry, we need to approve the sales order. Um, the co contract renewals is a very configurable module. Um, a, a lot of people struggle to get the configuration right, but as you can see, the, 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 this con particular account is configured to only create the items in the contract once the sales order has been approved. But that is a, that is a choice that we make at what point that occurs. Uh, so let's just run that again. Okay. Great. So now we have our contract. As we can see, it, it only brings through anything that is deemed um, a, a contracted item. And we can see we've got our two um, term licenses and our one perpetual license. Um, if we wanted to make some amendments to that, we have the ability from the contract to um, create upsell and down sells. So if we, for whatever reason, wanted to say, okay, well, actually, we're going to make an amendment. If I come in, okay, I'm going to keep this item on here. 
and then let's have another look at what we've got in here. Um, Let's, oops, let's see what we've got called license. Okay, let's try that one. Okay, let's save that one. Okay, All right, now I'll just take a moment. go back to look at the contracts we can see now though those extra two items I just added are now part of the contract so what obviously if we if we wanted to um, I can elect to renew this now now renewing this now it, it, it will let me do it and then it, it'll tee up a contract that begins next year so we won't be able to progress it very far but just to show you the process of uh, renewing of course hopefully as you know what contract renewals does is it, it every day it looks at the contracts that are in the system and are any of them in the window when we should automatically create a renewal transaction. And the renewal transaction it creates can be configured to be an opportunity, a quotation, or, it, or directly to a sales order, all of which can be created pending approval or already approved. And then dependent upon which type of transaction has been created, it might be that you have um, a salesperson engaging with the customer um, to talk them through the renewal, or it might be if you're going straight to a sales order, you're just automatically renewing them and then you're going to start billing them straight away. Um, you also have the choice within that process that automatically creates the renewal transaction what happens to that renewal transaction so should all the items um, have an uplift applied to them so are, are we increasing our prices um, should if we have the situation like we have here where we've got three line items that are the same item should they be three line items on the new contract or should we squash it and make it one line item um, that covers the cost and the quantity of the three separate lines. That's a configuration choice. Um, this, uh, this particular account has been configured to make them into one line item. However, it will only make them one line item if the price is the same as well. So that's an important thing to know. It will, it will only consolidate the same item into a single line if the unit pricing is the same on those separate lines. So I'm, I'm going to take this through the renewal. I'm just going to say renew now and we'll see the sales order that gets created for us. much less painful when it does this automatically overnight. Okay, right, so we can see here, this is still our old contract and it, a renewal sales order has been created. So if we go have a look at that. And then what we'll see is we still have those three separate lines, even though it's the same item. And then obviously this, this, this other license has pulled through, but the perpetual license has not, and the service line obviously has not. And then we can see that that's created a new contract. So, so this has behaved as we would expect. 